good versus great. That's what this video is about. You know what's funny is I just talked about this in one of my Naruto reactions. And it was about Sakura. <laughs> and how I'm, I'm basically like, listen, she's good. She's not great. What is up, y'all? Happy Wednesday. It is 10.50. I have actually already done my entire morning routine. And I've worked a little bit. And then... I can't help you with that. Yeah, I know. I am about to head to the coffee shop, actually. There's a coffee shop right not that far from Michelle and I. And I'm going to be meeting up with someone because we're going to work at the coffee shop. And talk some business ideas. I got some stuff I want to talk to them about. You'll meet them in a second. And some of you probably already know this person. And then from there, I'm going to the gym. So, hold on. So, should be a good day. And then after gym, I got filming for three hours with Michelle. And then it'll be around 6, 6.30, I'll eat. And then I have a meeting with some of my Reaction Channel Academy students. So that is it. Should be a good day. But you guys are gonna laugh at me. I'm over here preaching. I'm over here preaching productivity, getting shit done, just doing it, you know. The last few videos have been about that. And ironically, let me make sure I got my keys. I didn't even put up my camera mount in my car yet. I know. I know, how can I make a channel motivating people when I can't even do shit myself? It's embarrassing. But I'm man enough to tell you. My excuse is, it was so damn hot yesterday here in Austin. It, it was 91 and I was like, I told myself, oh, I'll wait until sunset. You know, I'll wait until it uh, starts cooling down. And then I'll, I'll get in my car and do it. I guess I could have just turned the car on, let the AC run, but, uh, but I didn't. And that's my excuse. But I will do it. I swear I'm, I'm gonna do it either today or tomorrow. I'm gonna do it. Come on, bro. Homie just cut me off and now I missed the light. It's all good. It's all good. It's out of my control. Why, why, why would I let something like, something external outside world impact here. I can't. I can't be bothered by traffic, by bad drivers. How would that, how can I let that impact me? Outside should not impact inside. That is it, all right. What I want the theme of this video to be about, because it's come up in my life with people that I've been talking to quite a bit in the last couple days, is it's so easy to be happy, to be positive, to feel aligned, to feel optimistic, and all of the things that we strive to be, it's so easy to be those things when life is going good. It's so easy to motivate and inspire and, you know, have all of this like positivity flowing through you. Again, when work is good, relationships are good, health is good. But what matters most, and as cliche and as rocky uh, Rocky quoting themed as this is gonna sound it really mat what matters most is how do you respond when life hits you can you maintain those levels of positivity those that that energy the optimism when life is uncertain and right now for my brother what's funny is because we, we spoke yesterday uh, life's a bit uncertain he has a lot going on he has a baby on the way like two months away he is in a job that is very rocky right now in the sense of layoffs. Everyone's talking about layoffs. He's expecting his job to be, his title to be let go. Um, nothing's for certain or anything, but like there's just uncertainty. He's like, you know, fuck man, what am I gonna do? What am I? And it's, it's these moments where you really show your true colors. It's these moments when, when leaders and, and, you know, greats are able to deal. Oh, damn, I literally just almost saw a full on head on collision. Damn. Anyways, it's uh, 
it's just funny. You got to remember that. And I, and I kind of feel like we're constantly being challenged. And what are you going to do when life hits you? Life will hit you. And that's really the true sign of your character and who you are and, and all of those things, right? I know, I know, you know, the Rocky quote. It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, you know, how much you can take. It's so true, y'all. It's so true. And so I had this conversation with my pops, my dad, a couple days ago. He just got a new job and he is through the roof about it. And, and I'm so happy for him and my brother and I are and our family, like everyone is just super happy for him. We're pumped. It, it, he's so deserving of it. He works so hard, harder than, way harder than I work um, and harder than, than most people I know. And, but I was talking to him because, you know, he's like any other human being, including myself, where he has a tendency of getting down on himself, beating himself up, depression, negative thoughts, things like that, especially when life isn't going exactly how he wants, especially like when, when life throws shit at him, his health is down, jobs uncertain, relationships bad, money bad, like he can, that really impacts him. And like a lot of us, it can, it can collapse a person. But I challenged him because right now he's on cloud nine. Life is good. Things are heading in the right direction. He's about to kind of start some content creation stuff on his on in his world which is super cool got a new job got a pay raise moving to a better place and life is good and his energy is flowing and I'm just like pops I want to challenge you to remember this and keep this mentality because it's inevitable life is going to hit you again you're going to go through those you know those ups and downs for all of us ups and downs are constant that is life inevitably that is life and when you're at the low points, when you're in the storm, can you still be at peace and, and remember that you will get through this and really remember and feel the feeling that you feel when you are on cloud nine, when things are going good, because you know, it'll get there. It might not, it, it might be hard to see it. It might be hard to envision that you're going to make it through this, but you will, we always do. And so that's kind of the theme. And I'm going to talk to my brother right now. Fuck. I gave away who you're meeting. Shit. It's supposed to be a surprise. Not that big of a surprise. But anyways, I'm meeting up with Brandon right now. And uh, and we're just going to shoot the shit. So, all right. Let's go. She's like, what's up, dude? I was like, hey, what's up? And she's yeah. like, I knew right away. And then he's like, nice beer, dude. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's recording right now? It is recording. What's up, y'all? I don't know if you can see uh, the tundra. Yeah. Oh, um, all right, sick. I think I might go to the gym with you right after. Oh, really? Did you go? Yeah. Oh, you did cardio earlier? I walked three miles. You, you just go all in and like like let go of any sort of fear or hesitation. You just like I'm gonna make this fucking work. Yo, by the way, I am reading a message right now on Patreon from someone who just read The Alchemist. This 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 brings me so much fulfillment. I made a video about it, I'll link it here. But if you haven't read or listened to The Alchemist, go and do it. It really has the potential to change your life, to change mine. And shout out to David, because he's, I'm reading this message right now, and he's saying it has changed his life. And I love this shit. So glad, because that video didn't even get that many views, but like the fact that it impacted even just David. It's huge, so let's go. 
All right, successful meeting with the brother, with the twin done. We talked all things business. We talked about just mindset stuff, plans, stuff he wants to work on. I'm, you know, helping him and Dav with their reaction channel, Slay Reactions. And they're just getting to like some peak Demon Slayer moments. So that's super cool. And then just work stuff, life stuff, talking about his baby shower that's coming up. A lot of cool things, excited, exciting stuff. It's really cool that we get to work together, honestly. And at the end of the day, we both have such similar goals, which is to have a positive impact. I mean, we both, you know, ultimately want to reach a financial place where we can give back and take care of those who took care of us, you know. My aunt and my grandparents who adopted us, we want to take care of them. We want to be able to take care of our, our parents, you know, five to ten years from now. I want to get to a place where I am able to tell my pops, like, yo, you've been busting your ass and we're proud of you and you don't have to work anymore. Um, or, you know, just manage, manage our properties or something like that. <laughs> we do want to continue to build our, our real estate portfolio. You know, I don't talk a lot about my business and, and I don't talk a lot about kind of finances and goals and things like that because, you know, most of you guys know me for reactions and reacting to anime and, and that is our main source of income. But a lot of people don't know, like even before that, I've been, you know, I've been investing a lot. I purchased property. I bought, so I drive an Audi. Um, an A5 Audi, a 2021. I bought this before I started, Michelle and I started doing reactions full time. I was, ma I was in, I was working in tech for, you know, eight years. So I was making a lot of good money. I was, I worked at Dropbox before they IPO'd. I've been, I've been relatively good with my money and, you know, I own one property. I want to, I want to buy more and I have just, you know, a lot of goals on, on that side of things as well. So if ever you want to talk to me or you, you have questions about business stuff, I'm here for that as well. I'll probably get deeper and deeper into that and just be more open and transparent about that with you guys as, as this channel develops. But it is all connected, right? Loving my life, kind of the spir spirituality, the kind of how I talk about all the, the other topics, it all ties into finances. It all ties into health and business and, and all of it. So anyways, Brandon and I always talk about stuff like that. And it's really cool. It's really cool. We have the same, we have the same vision, same goal. And I know that we're going to accomplish those goals literally by having a positive impact. It's crazy how it works, but I like giving, giving is literally the number one way to receive as weird as that sounds. I give so much just like time, advice. I, I'm creating this channel, old, like yes, do I think this channel will end up making me money? Yes, of course, it will. I, this channel's going to grow. I, you know, eventually will probably do random brand deals, whatever, you know, a couple years down the road from now, right? I'm not worried about that now, but it's gonna happen. But that's not the goal. Like the goal is the impact that this is having because I know by positively impacting people, the universe is, is gonna give back to me. Like that's just kind of how how life works. And I've been, I've been, that's been my mindset for so long and it hasn't let me down. And it's not going, I know it's not going to. So I'm just gonna keep focusing on giving back, having a positive impact on as many people as I can. And that's through things like reacting to anime. I know that provides some val a lot of value to, to people, right? But also this is another way. I also, you know, Whenever I get hit up and people are like, yo, I'd love some help with my business or with my YouTube or whatever, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll help you as much as I can. I'm, I'm always going to be willing to do that because I know, like I said, it's going to come back. I'm a big believer in karma. All right. Anyways, I'm heading home to grab my phone, make my pre-workout, and then I am headed to the gym. That last vlog was so long and I felt like it was a little all over the place and I don't want to consistently put out videos like that because it's like 
that video could be literally have been broken up into three different videos. And then, because I covered so many different topics. So I, I will get better at that, I promise. You know the theme about this video. Actually, I want to talk just a little bit more about that on the way to the gym, and then I'll wrap up the video. But, all right, let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's go say what's up to Michelle. Let's see if she's in there. Oh, yeah. I hear Teddy. Teddy, Cora. Teddy. Wait, you left your phone? Teddy, Cora. Yeah, I left my phone. How'd you know? Okay, Michelle doesn't have pants on, so I have to turn off the vlog. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I just hit record and I'm just, I just want to say bye. I love you. Bye. Love you, boo. It's blurry, they can't see anything. But I said bye, I love you. So you're leaving me again, all alone in this house? Yes, I'm going- To fend for myself? To fend for yourself, yes. I'm going to- bye. I'm going to the gym. Bye. Okay, bye. I'll be back around 2.30 and we'll film at 3. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Does anyone else's significant other gives them give them shit for leaving them to go to the gym? It's weird. It's weird only because it's like I know she wants me in good shape. You know? But she doesn't want me to work out. I'll never understand it. All right. Last tidbit Last thing, I'm gonna close the, the vlog off with this and then I'm gonna listen to my motivational shit while I sip on my pre-workout. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very big into trying to remain optimistic, positive. But I also understand that some people's personalities are just not like that, right? And that's fine. The, the thing that I want people to understand is like, it's not about the external. Oh, hold on a second. My neighbor has something to say. What's up, dude? What's going on? So I'm vlogging, but I love it, man. I've been practicing good shit, man. Thank you. I'm I'm working on it. I'm, you know, get trying to get creative, figure out the best way to incorporate, you know, data capturing day-to-day -day stuff while also providing value, you know. You hit the marks because it's so realistic. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. You saw my text message? I did, yeah, yeah, exactly. Do, idea. Let's do it, yeah, let's do it. Um, I mean, just let me know day and time. I can coordinate with my brother, but I, I, it's just like, similar to meeting Chris, like, with what you're doing, I, like, most of the people I hang around with are somewhat entrepreneurs or, like, doing stuff that I think could add value. Yeah, so, like, I think meeting with Brandon will be good, and then we'll just take it from there, you know? Just, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we'll talk soon. I'm about to go hit the gym. All right, man. Nice All right, man. See ya. That is one of my buddies um, who I actually met up with coffee with in one of my vlogs like two uploads ago. He He's my neighbor, actually, and he just started a tech company. He just founded a tech company. Super cool. So I'm helping him. I'm connecting him with a bunch of people that I know and kind of helping him from, from a branding standpoint. So long story short, I'm, I'm just trying to add value uh, and just like share with him how he can do some solid marketing strategies and branding and get his, get his brand out there and start building a presence on like LinkedIn, stuff like that. So anyways, I, I know I was talking about kind of positivity. It's not about how you are on the outside. It's all about how you are on the inside. So don't let anyone ever make you feel like you're not positive or you're not being because you're just not as outgoing and like maybe charismatic as others right that's not what it's about it's about how you feel inside you can be the most quiet introverted person in the world but still be overly optimistic and positive on the inside so don't let anyone ever tell you that there's only one you know one shape fits all because that is so not true. And so whenever you hear me talk about, you know, how can you remain positive and optimistic and providing good energy, 
even when, you know, shit is rough, when, you know, life's going to hit us all in the face. It's going to hit us in the mouth over and over. We don't know when, we don't know how often, but it's going to happen. How do you respond then? I always try and lead by example. So whenever I'm dealing with shit, I'm always like, all right, if people were watching me, how could I lead by example and inspire and motivate? That's, that's how my brain operates. But anyways, when that's happening to you, even if you're introverted, it doesn't mean you like, you don't have to demonstrate that and become, try to force yourself to be a person you're not. So I just wanted to make that clear because I'm never, I never would recommend anyone. I, I recommend people to step out of their comfort zone. That's, that's different. But you don't have to be, try to force yourself to be more extroverted if you're introverted, right? So I just wanted you to, to know whoever's watching this, however you are as a human, whether you talk a lot, whether you never talk, whether you're super energetic, or whether you come across like you have no energy, that doesn't matter as much as what matters on the inside, what you tell yourself, what are the conversations you're having with yourself? in your head and especially when life is hard that is it uh i i think this yeah i I'm, I'm working on just so you guys know i've got a lot of positive feedback for the longer vlogs and i appreciate it i i truly do but i know i can be more effective i know i can be i need to be a bit more consistent and i'm figuring that out and i'm excited about that so that's why this is going to be a shorter vlog but still kind of impactful and still taking you with me and going through this journey that we call life while trying to share with you what I've learned along the ways because you know I, I know I'm not the most wise person in the world but I have been through some shit and I just think sharing what I've learned could help at least some of you out there so that's all all right y'all I'm about to you already know what I'm about to do but have a good rest of the day Let's try to work on consistency in, internally. Internal consistency. That's what I'm going to call this. Internal consistency. I love that. Shit, I might make that the title. The art of internal consistency. You know, it might not get a lot of views because no, no one is fucking searching that on YouTube. That's for sure. Because I just made it up. <laughs> but, all right. Let's get it. Attack the day. Be positive. Sakura's thought process is all like she's so smart. She really is smart. But I think in battle in situations when emotion like this is what separates good from great. I'm serious. Even in sports, you guys, the great ones don't falter because of emotion. If you're in a fight, if you let anger fucking get in your way and, and have you making the wrong decisions you're gonna lose or you're or you're eventually gonna lose but if you're if you're calm and collected and, and you can set your emotions aside become the tom brady with 30 seconds left you know 70 yards to go calm and collected doesn't matter if you get frantic and like crying and all the shit you're gonna fucking lose this is what separates good from great is this all i'm saying she's not great she's good but she, th this is out of her, her league, this situation, you know?